Hey guys, Joe Marler from Daniel Defense, coming to you from the vault this time. Hope you guys like the new background, trying something new. In this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about backup iron sights and what you should consider when selecting some backup iron sights. So three main types of iron sights. You're gonna have fixed front and rear, flip up front and rear. You have offset sights, or it could be a combination of flip ups and fixed sights. All right, so iron sights, most commonly these days, especially on AR-15s, are considered backup iron sights. They're backup to your primary optic. So whether it be a red dot optic, a low power variable optic, whatever it might be, they are backup to your primary. Most optics these days, especially red dots, holographic sights, they have batteries, batteries die, they go dead. Now your optic doesn't work, you don't have any way to really uh, you know, effectively aim at your target. So backup iron sights are there just for that. They're there to back you up so that you can get rounds on target effectively and accurately. So we're gonna start out with fixed sights, that's what we make. And what we have is our A1.5 fixed rear sight with our rail mounted fixed front sight. So this gun, as you see it, perfectly fine, ready to go. You don't really need an optic if you wanna be super minimalist, very lightweight, you can do this and have a very well shooting gun. Our rear sight, this is adjustable for windage only and it's got the A1 windage wheel on the side here. So you can adjust that with a bullet tip and front sight is adjustable for elevation only. So you can run the gun just like this. You don't need an optic. Just keep it simple, keep it lightweight, nice truck gun. Same sights, fixed front and rear. Perfect way to set it up if you're gonna be running a red dot. Now, most sights, regardless of whether they're fixed sights or flip up sights, they're the same height over your receiver. Your co-witness or where those iron sights are gonna line up in your optic is gonna really depend on the optic and the mount. So the Leopold LCO that we have here, this is actually sits pretty low. This gives us a, an absolute co-witness. So perfectly fine to run the optic this way. Basically, you're just gonna look right over the top of the sights, pick up the red dot, put it on your target and go to work. What's nice about having fixed iron sights in conjunction with a red dot is if the battery dies or if it just shuts off, you can just pick up your iron sights. You don't have to go through any extra motions of getting your sights flipped up, get back on target and start shooting again. This configuration works out really, really well. Okay, now we're gonna get into some flip up sights. So the way we have this rifle set up, is we have a Magpul MBUS flip up rear. We've got an aim point micro and we've got a fixed front sight. So another way of doing it, this also works really well. If you need to use your iron sights, all you have to do is deploy the lever, sight flips up, now you can use your iron sights. But when you're just using your red dot, you don't want to have anything in the way obscuring your field of view. You can flip that down and now you've only got to look past the front sight at your target. All right, so going on to our next configuration, okay, this is using flip up rear and flip up front. These are the Magpul MBUS Pro sights. So if you want a completely clear field of view, you don't want any obstructions whatsoever when you're using your optic, then you can run a flip up on the front and on the back. And when you're ready to go, flip it up, flip it up, and then you can pick up your iron sights through your optic and get your iron sights on target and start shooting again. So if you want a nice clear field of view, but you're still using a red dot, set of flip ups will work for you. And the last one we're gonna look at is gonna be an optic that has a uh, variable powered optic. So this is a DDM4 V7. We've got Vortex Razor HD on top. This is a one to six. And of course, eyepiece has to extend back towards the back of the upper. Therefore, we need uh, a flip up rear at a very minimum in order to, uh, to clear the, the ocular piece of the scope. We've got a flip up front on this guy too. So if you have a rifle with a fixed front sight, say it's a barrel mounted fixed front sight, you can still use an optic like this, but you're gonna get some mirage off of that front sight. If you can replace that or put a flip up sight on that gun, then you're not gonna get that annoying mirage that comes through comes from looking through a magnified scope. Now granted, if I do need to use these flip up sights, uh, I've gotta get this out of the way. So the DD scope mount, it's not a QD mount, it was never designed that way. So if I had to use my flip up sights, I'm gonna to have to pull this off, but if you have a scope mount that has uh, QD throw levers and you can get it off quickly, then you can remove your scope pretty quick, flip up your iron sights, and now you're just running a rifle with flip up irons, which is, which is perfectly fine. The other one that we mentioned in the beginning of the video are offset iron sights. There, there's a few manufacturers that make iron sights that, that offset to one side or the other so that if you have a, a magnified optic as your primary optic, but you needed to you know, use iron sights for, uh, for closer in shots or whatever it might be, 
you can actually use your iron sights at the same time. So you can have your rifle up using your magnified optic, but if you needed to shoot something up close and it was too close for that magnified glass, you can cant the rifle, you know, 25 to 45 degrees roughly, and then you can use your iron sights and then flip it back over, get back to your magnified optic for those longer shots. If you've got any questions about iron sights, check us out on the web, danieldefense.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Again, guys, there are a lot of different ways you can configure your iron sights. What works for me and what I like might not work for you, so just play around with it, figure out what works best for you and your gun, and rock with it. So have a good day. We'll see you at the range.